What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, I'm going to add ceilings and then I'm going to modify the ceiling properties. So we will be adding a compound grid ceiling and modify the horizontal and vertical alignment of the ceiling. And in addition, so we are going to sketch a new ceiling and we're going to place uh, components in the ceiling and attach a wall to the ceiling okay so basically it's an exercise to add and modify ceilings and ceiling components okay so let's get this thing started okay so as you can see right now i'm on ground floor okay so in revit for you to be able to place it or for you to be able to create your ceiling properly you need to be on the ceiling plan view so as you can see i am on the ground floor of the floor plan so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna double click the ground floor ceiling plan all right so that's right so this is where we are going to create our ceiling so we create our floor on our floor plans ground floor and we create our ceiling on the ceiling plans ground floor okay so let's open up our ground floor so here's now our view okay so let's create a ceiling so from the architecture build panel so you can see your ceiling there so it creates a ceiling as a, at a specified distance above the level in which it resides so let's click this one and then after that if you check out the properties here you'll be able to change the type of the ceiling that you are creating so you can create a basic ceiling compound ceiling or other types that you have created in the project for your ceiling and here you can also specify the level which is this is where we're going to place it on the ground floor with an offset from the level of 2600 okay so this is the type that we will be using to create our ceiling okay so let's do this so let's say for example i'm going to create my ceiling here on my hallway okay if you check here so there is the ceiling panel so you have two options so you have automatic ceiling and then you have sketch ceiling so i'll be selecting automatic ceiling which is already selected by default okay so using automatic ceiling so i am going to let me change first my offset here so let's say i'll just make it 2550 enter okay and then since this is automatic ceiling i'm gonna pick here so what is automatic ceiling so it creates a ceiling at a specified distance above the level in which it resides okay right so let's place it here click and there you go so you can't see your ceiling right now but actually it's already there it's just so happened that the ceiling that we have created doesn't have any pattern okay but let me select here modify to terminate the ceiling if we're going to check our section here let me open the section you will be able to see here the ceiling that we just created okay so this is what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna undo this and do okay and then here on the ground floor so let me close my ground floor plan and then i'm going to select view and i'll make it tile views so i can see my section view and my floor plan okay just to show you so i'm gonna select your architecture let's select the ceiling i'll change the height here so let's say uh 2550 and then the type is GWB on metal stud using automatic ceiling. So here, if I pick here, you'll be able to see the ceiling here. Okay, so let me click here using automatic ceiling. Make sure this is close boundary. So click and there you go. You see, that's now your ceiling. So I'm just going to select here, modify. Okay. So basically, that's how you create your ceiling. Very simple. So let's say, for example, let us create another type of ceiling. So let me now maximize this view by going again to the View tab and selecting Tab Views to maximize this. Or you can just simply close the section one. All right, so let's say I'm going to create another type of ceiling here. Okay, so let's select Architecture. Let's select the ceiling. Okay, and then let's change this one okay so this time i'm going to use here compound ceiling 600 by 600 uh, grid so let me select this one 
And then for the height, let me change this to 2400. And I'm going to click here again using automatic ceiling. So let's click inside this close bound, uh, close area bounded by walls. So let me click. And there you go. So there's our 600 by 600 mm grid. And then I'll just select here, uh, modify. Okay, now another thing that you can do is you can edit the ceiling grids. Okay, so let's edit the ceiling grid. So you can use the align tool. Let's say, for example, um, I'm going to use the align tool here. Or you can actually use drag and drop or just drag just drag the grid here this one okay so you can click that and then you can just drag it there and then you will now be able to see your uh, ceiling arrange right so it's like that so you can just drag like that okay let me just move this section okay right so you can click the uh, ceiling grid line hold your left click and then you can drag it there okay right and another thing is you can also uh, let's say use the align tool so let's say i'm going to select my um, annotate let me just create a line here detail line and then i'm going to snap at the midpoint like this and then i select modify so this is just a reference line Okay, and then I'm going to use the uh, align tool. So let's go to the modify. Let's use the align tool. So you can also use align tool. And then this is our reference. And then I'm going to align that. There you go. So it's now aligned. Okay, so basically you can use the move tool. You can use the align tool. Or you can just simply drag your grid line. So let me just delete that line that I have created. So select and delete. <clears throat> Now, another thing that you can do is when creating ceiling is you can sketch the boundary of your ceiling. So let's say, for example, I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to create a ceiling here using the other option, sketch ceiling. So architecture, let's select the ceiling here. Click. All right. So this time, let's use sketch ceiling. So when you are sketching, make sure it's close, no intersection no overlapping so you have several options here just like your floor so you can pick walls you can also uh, shape your ceiling okay so let's say for example for this type i'll be using 600 by 1200 so let's select this one and let's use the pick uh, walls okay so let's use this Okay, and then after that, you can also specify here just like your floor if you want to extend your ceiling into the wall to core. Okay, so you can also check that one out. And you can also specify here the offset of your uh, ceiling. Okay, but for this one, I'll just leave it uh, default. So I'm just going to click this. That's the one. I'm going to click this one. Click this one. And I'm going to click this one, picking the interior side of these walls. And make sure it's closed, no intersection, no overlapping. So that's why I'm going to clean the corners using trim extend to corner. Let's click that, click this one. Select the two sides that you want to remain. Just making sure. Okay, there you go. Okay, so after that, let me now select here, finish. There you go. Okay. So that's it. So basically, we created <clears throat> three ceilings. So we have the ceiling on our hallway, ceiling here, and ceiling here. Now, the last part of the exercise. So let's uh, place components in our ceiling. So to place components, so from the architecture, let's click the drop down arrow of our components. So you have two options here. So you have model in place, and then the other one is place a component, which is what we are going to use. It places an element in the building model based on a selected element type. So let's uh, let me click this and check out the properties here. Click the type selector, and then we will be using here M throw for 600 by 600 parabolic two lamps. So let's click this, and I'm going to just place it here. All right, so let's pick that 
don't worry we are we can modify this later on if you want so let's uh, place it one here there you go and then i'll just select here uh, modify okay so when placing your component let me click that again place a component before you place it as you can see if i move my pointer away from the ceiling my cursor says no you can't place it there but if you're going to move that again to the ceiling you will be able to see your uh, lighting fixture why because this lighting fixture is a ceiling hosted family so you need to have a ceiling for you to be able to place this properly if you put that away you can't place it okay and before you pick you can also press a space bar oh for this type of family you can press a space bar to rotate it but usually in other family before you place the family you can press the space bar if you want to rotate it by 90 degrees it's just so happened that this uh, type of family doesn't have that feature anyway i'm gonna select your modify to terminate it okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to rotate this so let's click this and then let's use the rotate tool okay and then let's pick here move up type 90 enter okay and then just click outside so that's our model so as you can see if you are going to select your family you can press a space bar already to rotate it okay in other families in other types of families you can also press a space bar even before you place or click the location of your family it just so happened that this one doesn't have that feature but Right after you place your family for this uh, lighting fixture, you can already click that and then you can press the space bar to rotate it by 90 degrees. Okay, and then you can also use the align tool. So let's say, for example, I want that to be aligned here. So let's use the align tool. Let's tidy up. Let's align that. There you go. So let's align it here. Click and then let's click that side. And there you go. So it's now aligned. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select modify to terminate. I'm going to copy that here. Okay. I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to select this and then I'll use the copy tool. Let me pick the base point somewhere here and then I'm going to place it here. There you go. Let's wait. And there you go. Okay. All right, so let me open up the section. So let me move this section here. Then move it there. Like that. And then right click the section line. Go to view. Let's view it. And there you go. See, there's our lighting fixture. So you can type SD. That is a uh, shaded view. So there's our uh, ceiling the uh, 600 by 1200 and this one is our compound ceiling gwb on metal stud and i think this is our 600 by 600 okay so there you go so we just created our ceiling so let me click this lighting fixture hold control and then click the other lighting fixture and then let's create a 3d view of that by selecting selection box so there we can see there you go right so let's adjust this okay so there's now our uh, ceilings so we have the ceiling on our hallway in this room this room and then here okay so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day